going on, Saul Tugan. This is your boy, Kavari Ted Media. Thank you guys for tuning in today. We got a pretty cool video. Um, I found a brand new spot. I did some kayak fishing, finally, guys. Okay, it's been like two and a half weeks since I've actually been able to get on the kayak on a decent day and put in some time. I mean, this weather has just been crazy. But the other day I went out and it was gorgeous out there. It was flat, no wind, sunshine, barely any clouds. So it was an absolutely gorgeous day out there. I had a freaking blast. Got on a really good bite and uh, even got my limit of some mangrove snappers. So yeah, it was an awesome day. Lost tons of fish. Um, caught tons of ladyfish, caught a bluefish. Pretty sure I hooked up on a couple black drum that broke me off. But yeah, it was just all in all a great day, guys. And uh, I changed it up a little bit, okay? So usually I've been using uh, live LYs, especially during the summertime because they're, they're absolutely everywhere. But I went to Outcast, grabbed some live shrimp, and the shrimp worked really well. I mean, I was honestly, I was really surprised that the shrimp worked this well at this time of year. But that's the bait that I used. Um, I had a half ounce weight with the little octopus hook, like the smallest octopus hook that you, that you can uh, find. And uh, just a simple Carolina rig around pylons, and that was getting the job done. So, yeah, like I said, try something different, try a new spot, and uh, yeah, it paid off, and uh, I had a great time out there, folks. But yeah, that's gonna be the video. I hope you guys enjoy. Thank y'all for uh, showing the amount of support on the latest videos. And yeah, folks, once again, it means a lot. I hope you guys enjoy. If you guys enjoy, drop a like, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, Salt Tugans. There he is. That's a keeper. There we go, Saltugan. There we go. That is how we do it. All right. Solid snapper right there. Let's put him on the measuring stick. Oh yeah. 11 inches all day. Solid first fish. These guys are so freaking fun to catch. They are so smart too. And look at the colors on this guy. Beautiful. All right. Probably gonna make a little stringer real quick and get him on there. Pulled a saltuga moment. Didn't even bring a cooler, but hey, got to do what got to do what you got to do, folks. It's pretty deep here too, folks. Probably about 30 feet deep or close to it. So as soon as I hook these guys, it's not really the easiest uh, getting them up without getting broke off. So I got going to be dinner tonight, folks. It's going to be dinner. See if we can't catch a red or a speckled trout or even a flounder too. Alright. Brand new leader going out, folks. I got demolished by something last time. Broke me off. There's a lot of structure down there. And that's exactly why there's a lot of mangrove snapper. And there's probably a lot of other stuff too. Probably even some black drone maybe. Um, but yeah. Shouldn't take long. The bite has been pretty uh, consistent. As you guys see, I'm getting bites right now. Just gotta wait for him to take it. Which he might have already. No, he didn't, but. There he is. There we go. I think he might be a little short. Yeah, he's definitely going to be a little short. All right. Second black snapper, or mangrove, I should say.
That is a pinfish. Not the species we're after. Anytime you find mango snapper, you're gonna find pinfish. It's just unavoidable, folks. He's got freaking cut off. No freaking way. Gosh dang it. Alright, we gotta retire. Gosh, these guys are no joke today. It's the second time I've been cut off. That was a freaking good fish though. That was a really good fish right there. Alright, we're ready to rock and roll, folks. This fish is not breaking me off this time. Mark my words. Sometimes with these snapper, you just gotta let them eat. As soon as you feel something messing with your line, you just gotta let them take it. That's a pinfish, but um, with these snapper, you'll 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 feel them more so like swimming with your bait. And as soon as you feel them swimming with your bait, you just give it a couple more seconds, and then you set the hook. This pinfish will just sit there and bite it. Mango snapper will not bite it. They'll just sit there and literally freaking bite it and swim off and just hold on. <laughs> so basically what we're doing, folks, we got a Carolina rig. We got a half ounce sinker. And we got a tiny little J hook. And we're using live shrimp. The only thing we're doing, we're just simply casting it right next to structure and that is usually where those mangrove snappers and um, a lot of other species will will be hanging out is right right next to that structure just waiting for bait to come by and then they'll pop out of that, that structure eat it and go right back in and that's why you get broke off a lot is because these fish sit there and hide next to it come out ambush go back in so it's got to be prepared to <laughs> retie a lot. Oh, dang, I had one the whole time. Freaking bluefish. What in the world? That was weird. Dang, that would make some good bait right there. All right. That's a good snapper. Yeah, here we go. Get in the boat, baby. Woo! Here we go, folks. Golly, these guys are freaking strong. This guy was about to wreck me. Oh, there we go. That's a solid snapper right there, folks. Oh, yeah. He's probably 13 or 14. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Finally got some redemption on these guys. Oh, yeah. Let's measure him up. Yeah, he's probably like 12 or 13. I'm not going to measure him just because I, I kind of have like a mental uh, ruler of these guys. He's probably like 12 and a half, but yeah, that's a solid fish nonetheless. So I'm going to go ahead and add him to the stringer. Not the best stringer, but hey, it'll do for the time being. All right, folks, let's catch some more fish. Why don't we? All right, two keepers. Let's go. There he is. Oh boy. Freaking guy got some airborne on him. I really don't want this guy. Oh. 
Freaking ladyfish. This guy went airborne. Come here, buddy. There we go. Thank God. That thing was going freaking crazy. Uh, that's a good one. Oh, there we go. That's another keeper. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We eating mangies tonight, folks. We eating mangies. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's a good one. God, these guys are freaking crazy. Probably the, eh, probably about the same size as of the first snapper we caught, but I'm gonna measure him up just to be certain. Yeah, he's he's a, uh, he is right at 10 and 3 fourths. So yeah, legal snapper, folks. Let's get him on the screen, go. All right, so so far so good. We're almost at our limit of snapper. I mean, these guys are freaking biting anything and everything today. Hope a big old Goliath grouper doesn't come up and eat these things. Funny story, I actually had a guy at my gym that I work out at. Um, he used to do a lot of work out here, and he said that years ago um, that they had to do underwater welding here. And while he was underwater welding here, he saw a Goliath grouper the size of a Volkswagen. <laughs> now, how accurate I think that is, I'm not really sure, but. Um, he did say that there is a hundred percent certainty Goliath grouper here. So that would be freaking probably the scariest moment of my life if a Goliath grouper came up and freaking ate that stringer full of snappers. So let's hope that doesn't happen, Saltigans. <sighs> All right, folks, just retied for the third time today. Whew, these fish are no joke. Oh, there's a lot of bait right under me. Oh my gosh. There's a whole school of bait fish. Look at, look at that right there. Holy cow. All right, well that's pretty cool. That's good too, because that means that there's gonna be a ton of fish following them, hopefully. Gosh, that's a big pinfish. Look how fat this thing is. Holy crap. Dude, that is the fattest pinfish I have ever seen. Look at how, f golly, that thing's like bigger than the snapper I've been catching. Look at that thing. This is a good fish. Good fish. Oh yeah, that's a nice snapper. That is a nice snapper, folks. Heck yeah. There we go. That's the best snapper of the day right there. Whoo. Hell yeah, that's a good one. That is a slob. Oh yeah, folks, that's a slob right there. Look at that blue line on his nose. Oh yeah, solid fish. All right, folks, we got one more snapper. We got our freaking limit. So hopefully we can actually get it. That'll be awesome. We'll be eating good tonight.
Oh my god. Is that a spe oh, that was a speckled trout. That was a speckled trout. Are you kidding me? I thought it was a ladyfish. <laughs> that was pretty cool. I was literally reeling my shrimp up and a freaking speckled trout ate it. That was cool. Uh -oh. That's a good fish. Oh yeah, that's keeper number uh that's keeper number five. <sighs> Maybe. He's gonna be close. I'll measure him up though. All right, folks, check that out right there. 10 inches, a little bit over. That is our last snapper that we can keep. We got our freaking limit. All right, I'm going to put this guy on the stringer. And I'm probably going to tie on some lures and start chunking it around um, these pylons, maybe. Because there's a lot of bait that's getting pushed under here. So hopefully we can catch something. All right, let's get this guy on the stringer.